Don't just reach for a beer. <laughs> Head for the mountains, bush. You're witnessing an incredible demonstration of how easy it is to use the automatic Minolta XG7. At 125 miles an hour, you don't have time to fiddle with camera settings. Just focus and shoot for professional quality 35 millimeter pictures. Even changing lenses takes seconds. If they can just focus and shoot for great pictures up there, you know the Minolta XG7's gotta be a snap to use down here. The Image of Metropolitan Detroit, Monday night at 7.30 on 7. Good evening, everybody. Detroit police officers, already the highest paid in the United States, today won a tremendously large increase from a panel of arbitrators regarding their salaries. City Labor Director Mark Ulickney telling Channel 7 News tonight, the increase handed down by the arbiters will cost Detroit taxpayers $60 million more than what they are now paying for police protection over the next three years. And that is assuming that the rate of inflation remains where it now is. It is expected to go up. On top of all that, Detroit firefighters will undoubtedly receive the same raise as the 4,400 Detroit policemen. Well, the president of the Detroit Police Officers Association told us tonight, it may sound like a lot of money, but it's not everything that the officers demanded. I think it's important to note that the cost of living formula, we did not gain it. We kept what we currently had under the cost of living formula. And our cost of living formula does not, in fact, keep us up with the inflationary rate. If inflation goes up 8%, our cost of living formula only uh, gives us buying power of about 4% of that back. Aside from cost of living, what was the wage increase that you won? Uh, the wage increase over a three-year period uh, is less than 5% per year. Uh, so uh, if we lose 4% a year in cost of living, uh, really in buying power that a police officer gained in terms of improving his lifestyle is probably less than 1% a year. Well, the pay increase we're talking about is retroactive to the July of 1977 when the officer's old contract expired. Now, over the three years of the contract, a rookie patrolman's base pay would jump from its current level of 14,000.